the brew review. Let's go. It's the brew review. Let's go. It's the brew review. Everybody get your hands up for the brew review. Come on, everybody, let's dip it on back. Body, head, and cap. Show me what you got on that tap. Cause it's K Dog and Mr. GMC. Everybody here knows that it's BYOB. Tell me how it tastes. Tell me, tell me how it smells. Was it that old bud or that yang ling hell? But it's time to get it started, so we started off right. It's the brew review, so we gonna party all night. Let's go. It's the brew review. Let's go. It's the brew review. Let's go. It's the brew review. Everybody get your hands up for the brew review. What's going on, guys and gals? Well, welcome to Season 3 Hangover here at the Brew Review. And, yeah... I fucked up. This camera right here kind of crashed some video to the first part of the episode that you were supposed to see right now. But due to that happening, let's just say your program's been interrupted by this. So I'm sorry this piece of shit crashed what we had planned. So yeah, GMC had a good idea with it. We recorded it and the fucking camera crashed it. But, we still have, like, the last half of the hangover at his house from when we we introduced the bar and all that kind of shit. And talked about what we learned. But one topic we talked about on the fir first part of that video that got crashed was... We learned that our, that our taste actually, like our palate, if you will, tends to get different over time. You develop a taste for things. That's what I'm trying to say. So this year we did like the return of Lion's Head and we did the return of Peg Leg. So in this little clip here, I'm going to give you the back to backs of those and then we'll go right to the rest of the program that didn't get crashed. <laughs> but yeah, a little behind the scenes here at the whip. Our equipment's not perfect either. Sorry, people. It says it's a deluxe Pilsner beer, so oh. I don't think it's actually a lager. It smells like a lager. Well. Just going well, on the way to you ready? Alright, cheers. Mm. Memories. Yep, and, and it, we were barely even legal to drink when we first tried this. It even tastes like a lager. But yeah, your brother scored a good deal on that $9 case back in the day, but mm -hmm. it's 16 bucks now, holy shit. And they make it in cans now, believe it or not. Yeah, definitely. It, it has a yingling kind of taste to it. Lion's Head Deluxe Pilsner Beer in the can. In Let's the try. can. He grips that can. He guzzles it. Okay, flavor burst. And flavor burst it. And then we move on and to Lion's Head in the bottle. Let's try in the it. Bottle. I would have been able to figure that out, Matt Riddle, too, if I had time. I'm awesome like that. What's your verdict? Oh, he burped. Bottle it. Really? I'd say. Bottle it. Any, any difference in taste or just... It's a little bit better in the bottle, I think. Is it? Well, let's just go ahead and do the bottle first because I like to do it in the bottle first. But then can. No metallic taste or anything like that? Mm, a little bit. Just slightly. Little, yeah. It wasn't as bad as Yingling's metallic taste. Mm. If I had to compare to any other can versus bottle episode, yeah, that sucked. But this is definitely what you call a pilsner beer. It's a light beer. Yeah. But not a light. They actually make a Lion's Head light, which future episode. Yes. But they must have started the cans recently. I don't remember ever seeing a Lion's Head can. Yeah, I don't. Uh, <clears throat> again, I'm not 100 percent sure. When they started doing the cans, if somebody can help us out on that. But another native beer, Wilkes Bear. Yep, just up the road from Pottsville. So. Up 81. And I don't believe you can get this anywhere out of Pennsylvania. No, no. If I remember I can tell you right now, I haven't seen it anywhere in West Virginia. Yeah, this is very, very home based. I don't think it leaves Pennsylvania. And. I don't know why they don't. I mean, it's good stuff. I can't believe this shit was nine bucks a case. I know. Back in 02. Alright, now that we got fresh new batteries in the old cam here, and I put new electrical tape on it to hold them in, we're ready. 
So GMC has won the coin toss on the taste it first. So I'm yeah. gonna smell it here real quick. Take, take a whiff of it. What do you think? It has a dark smell to it. Definitely dark. It's a stout. And I mean it's not I wonder if it's gonna be anything like a Guinness. I don't know, but Well, you ready? I have to pour some of it. Alright, hold on. What? We gotta start this off right. Cheers, fuckface. <laughs> here we go, down the hatch. GMC does it first. Ah. <laughs> What's it taste like? Do tell. Um. Hold on. It's going for another swig. It might be because it's a little warm, but. Uh, it might have warmed up a little bit in the car on the way back. It definitely has like a coffee, a little bit of a coffee aftertaste. Yeah, you can kind of taste, or you, well, not taste, you can kind of smell the bean smell in it when you sniff it. Yeah, you definitely get a, a coffee aftertaste to it. Yeah. And in case you missed it, we had a bitch of a time getting these caps off. Yeah, so give me the camera. All right, we'll switch off here. Your turn. Good view of GMC's hand. Hey, how's it going, everybody? So, <laughs> peg leg. Peg Let's leg. Try it. Yeah, cough syrup. Cough syrup. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> yeah, definitely the coffee taste. I'll go first since you did the lion's head. Yeah. There's no picture riddles on this one, but now again, I will say I've developed kind of a liking for darker beers. And this is as dark as it gets. So, I might actually enjoy this. We're going to find out right now. Alright. With notes of coffee and dark chocolate. Well, we already know there ain't no chocolate in here. So. I remember being sadly disappointed. <laughs> and we're going to pour it right this time. So, stand by. We're just trying to totally redeem ourselves. It's still strong. Still very, very strong. But again, I've developed a palate for darker beers. I can remember my the face that I gave the first time I drank this was ugh, like that. But, and I also remember, we drank this warm. If you remember correctly. Yeah, we kind of fucked was, up on that. Well, we, we got it at Wegmans and, and then, you know, it's such a long drive coming home that it warmed up in the car. Yeah. This was not totally chilled. Now, some people have told me that darker beers taste better warm. I seriously doubt that. But as it's chilled, it's still... I, I like it now. It's really good. Okay, this is a very it's still, beer. It's still strong. This is the very beer that kind of gave birth to this whole shtick. Yeah, that's right. Peg leg! Let's try it! Imperial stout. It's not just a stout. It's an imperial stout. Flavor burst. Flavor burst it. Cough syrup. <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. You like it? It actually has gotten better over time. I, I think that we have... I think what we're learning here at the Brewer View is that you got to develop a taste for this stuff. Okay, sorry about that, people. We are I was trying to take you off the tripod, and I kind of like... Okay, we'll solve this right now. Sorry. We, uh, we're I, got, I got to thank uh, RC Nova for letting us use this tripod. You can check her stuff out on YouTube if you're into radio-controlled cars. Yeah, we're with so, yeah, this tripod was used on her channel also. Oh, yeah. So, what we got here is the bar. The bar. You can see the counter going across. There's Squishy Frog mm. on his toilet. As, as I said, we're kind of in the middle of redecorating, so that's why it looks so disgusting. Yeah, so we'll kind of give you a little cross the bar shot here. And there's the fridge and the barrel. And then let's go back around. I've never been behind the bar before. I'm not wearing pants! Leave me alone! Oh, look, I can see myself in the mirror. <laughs> so here we go. That's the behind the bar view here at the brew view. You're not allowed back here. But I am. I'm already back here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But okay, I'm let's. Fun with the yeah, he's still a little kid himself. But yeah, there you go. That's your little bar tour. Little bar tour, always open. You want to come over? Hang so, out. all right, we'll get you back on the tripod here. 
this how scripted we not are. Or we are not. We're not. If Big we were, spring grammar right there. Why would we be scripted? Scripted sucks. Yeah, really. But I mean, what are some of your random memories about season three? Oh God, if I can remember them. Uh, we drank too much. Yeah, we definitely drank too much. Uh, what what did we all do there? Did was that the first time we did the John and Ethel series? Um, I think John and Ethel series started in season two, but season three is when John and Ethel actually joined us for a few weeks. That's what it was. Yeah, uh, we had a big shindig for Tina and Tina they, and John's birthdays were that weekend. Both turned forty. They came up. We had a little. A little shindig, a little hoot nanny for him. A little grill and chill, if you will. Drank some beer. Uh, that's where we, of course, how could we forget the black and tan beer float? Yes. Black and tan beer float. We gotta show a little clip of that one too. Yeah. So and roll it. I should do the honors this time. There you go. So, ladies and gentlemen, for the first time that I know of, a black and tan ice cream beer float with black and tan. Please stand by. Yeah, we might eat that. <laughs> Squishy Frog is pissed off now. Sorry, Squishy Frog, so here we go. So there's the the toilet so he can puke. <laughs> he got it on a stash, that's funny. It looks, it looks almost like the milk mustache. Yeah, John, get your ass over here. God damn. Why do I gotta taste it? What do you mean god damn? Oh shit. Coming. Wow. Am I gonna puke? This is really good. <laughs> I don't All right. <laughs> Dude, it is. It's really, really good. No, it really isn't. All right, let's switch off. You don't I'm know what you're talking about. <laughs> John, you can have it. it, it yeah. Yingling, black and tan, beer floats. Let's try it. Dude, this is. I like this. I really do. He's on track. I'm gonna spoon it. Yeah, you gotta spoon it. I forgot to spoon I'm, it. I'm gonna fucking spoon it. I did. I forget to spoon mine. Look what it looks like on the spoon, people. It that... looks like ice cream. <laughs> this is this is so much like the original beer float. Yeah, it doesn't separate the flavor. Like you drink, you have the beer taste. No, no, it does. Out of the ice cream, it tastes like ice cream. It, it does. Se the, that's the thing. It does separate the beer and the. Try it. We got plenty here. Hey, babe, you want to try it? No, thank you. Come on, come over here. I'm pouring the rest of mine here. Get some more. <laughs> oh, shit. You're going to dilute it. You're going to dilute oh. nothing, man. Oh. And we are back. We're back. So I hope you enjoyed the second ever beer float here at the Brew Review. I certainly did. It actually was better than the first one, I thought. Oh yeah, when you mix it up, it tastes like chocolate. I, I think where we screwed up on the first one was the fact we didn't mix it up enough. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But it was still good. Like I said, we not really much more we could say about this. Again, I don't remember much. We did uh, NA. We did some more NAs. We did yeah. uh, Bex. Bex NA. Uh, yeah, I mentioned earlier about the Sam Adams and Blue Moon runs. Of course. Oh, how could I possibly forget... Our epic battle of the loggers between Yingling and Sam Adams. Oh, that was a close one, too. I will admit that. Uh, I'm actually amazed we didn't get a lot of hate mail for that one, because some people are very particular about their beer, especially their lager. Yeah, and you know, uh, and I know, like, Sam Adams fans out there, when they're fans, they're diehard fans. Mm -hmm. Same with Yingling. Mm -hmm. Yingling, uh, you can't really, like, like this whore right here. I mean, look at it. He's always wearing the... He's always wearing the merch. Did you buy any merch when you went to the Yingling tour? Just the barbecue sauces. I didn't buy any t-shirts or anything like that. I didn't have that much money. Oh, damn. But Battle of the Brews. That was the Battle of the Loggers. That was our, probably our closest one. Um, here's a clip! It's Battle of the Brews. Which is the better logger? Yingling? Yeah! Or Sam Adams. I don't know. So we got Pottsville versus Boston oh, tonight. Oh, it's a big epic header. Of In this corner, we got from Pottsville, Pennsylvania, weighing in at 12 ounces, we got Yingling Lager. And in this corner, from Boston, Massachusetts, we got Samuel Adams, Woo! weighing in at 12 ounces. 
Rich Balance and Complex against America's oldest brewery. Let's find out which one's better. Ding ding! So, asterisk and as usual, and I'm sure you already know, those of you who follow, we're gonna. Oh, fuck! <laughs> We are going to. <laughs> We're going to keep that in the show. We are going to stop and let the cat fall off the trash can. I hope my laptop's okay. She knocked it down. <laughs> All right. So this, distractions aside, this battle, is so, <laughs> this battle is so epic that people are getting excited over it. They just can't. We're get not perfect. Friends. So I'm going to go with Yingling first, since 1829. Yingling traditional lager. Let's try it again. Again. This is his go-to beer, ladies and gentlemen. His nectar of the gods. So right at home. If it All was right. a woman, you would? Fuck it. There you go. Okay. Sammy Adams, Boston Lager. Since Phoenix, let's try it again. <laughs> and this time we have the bottle for it. And look at that. He, he's right into it, people. He is... On the ball with this. I know you're going to call me biased and everything, but... You're yeah. going with Yingling. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I but, yeah. Sam Adams is good. You're... Well, that, this would be a good backup to when you run out of this. Yeah, again, uh, we're going to have to get a third opinion on this one because I... I don't know. Man, I, I just bleed this stuff. I'm sorry, people. Yeah, that, you're, you're Pottsville proud, I guess. It's my PA pride right there in that bottle. You don't get me wrong. I'm sure people from Boston are like, that's a better beer. <laughs> that's a better beer. I drive it in my car as I'm driving. You drink too many of these, you'll, you can't sit in your chair. Yeah. You don't get me wrong. It's okay. I like it. It's okay. It's that's good. the best shit you put your lips around, as Matt said. <laughs> it's good. I'll give it that. But After burp, kind of mixed. But a little bruise. Yeah, we're going to get so much hell for this, I guarantee it. Anyway. I get more of a flavor out of uh, Boston. Oh, yeah? Out of Sam Adams. I definitely get more flavor. What's your preference? No, qu no question at all. No question. <sighs> wow. Now, um, I know some of you out there are going to say I'm a biased motherfucker about it, but no, I'm being honest. <laughs> uh, I got to disagree. I like the Sam Adams better. Oh, really? That, yeah, because it just it tastes better to me. I, the aftertaste doesn't bother me, like, if it does with you. And we're back! Wait, we just showed the clip. Yeah, I was posing. I was that's. I was holding the pose the entire time. My oh, jaw, thank you very much for giving that away. My jaw kind of hurts because I was. I was the whole time that I was showing the however long it was. I was frozen like that. Anyway, imagine um, if we just showed the whole episode. Uh, any memories that you have there, dog? Well, I drank too much. Yeah, I, like I said, we don't really remember. Uh, I'm, I've sued Magic Hat, too, for putting sh so much shit up here. You know, next time, just mail the beer to us, instead of throwing all that stuff in there. What, I pulled out... Well, at least none of it got abused in the process. I yeah. mean, you gotta give it that. I pulled out your cast iron skillet. I pulled out Wayne's World 1 and 2. Very good movies, by the way. Yeah. Well, every other time I've had something stuck in my hat, I've had problems with it. Here. You might need that. Yeah, we cooked breakfast on that, damn it. God, here. Remote control. You might need that, too. Oh, Remember by. back when TVs didn't have remotes? Stand by, ladies and gentlemen. Gentlemen! God! A copy of Wayne's World. And Excellent! Wayne's Excellent! Yeah. I highly recommend these movies. Watch them. Swing! But there's one more thing in here. Yeah! Yeah! Oh, of course. Magic Hat's back. Um, other than that, why are we telling you about this? Why not go back and actually watch it? Yeah, I mean, this 
it's, this is going to end the whole playlist of season three, and then next week we move on to season four. It, it was a special time because that was the last time we got to do that in the old studio, my old studio. Now we are here, and I, I think we've pretty much recorded all of season four so far in this very studio. In this place right here. Oh no, no, I'm wrong. I'm sorry, I'm wrong. I think we did a couple episodes back at my house. And then... Um, one or two, I Yeah, think. there was one or two we did back at my house, and then we started doing some of them here. Yeah. I mean, and we're, we're finally, like, the, the, the releases are finally catching up. Yeah, to, we're flip-flopping like, back and forth, but yeah. Uh, the 150th was the final time you will see, I think, that particular house. I'm not sure. I'm thinking, think. like, 150... No, we did 150. 151 or 152 might be the last. Maybe. Uh, <coughs> okay, yeah. We kind of flip-flopped as we were doing that last one there. Yeah. So, um, as far as what can be expected out of Season 4, a lot. <laughs> That's all I can say. Uh, yeah, I can tell you one thing. It's, for some reason, the hard root beers are catching on, like, overnight. Yes. Wait until you see that particular so run. So, there will be some of that coming up in the future. <laughs> There is I'm a, not going to say which one. There is a particular stretch in Season 4 where we get hammered. Yes, and it broke the record back in Season 1. What was that? If you remember, 11... We did 8 episodes in a row back in... Or was it 9 in a row? We did 9 in a row on Season 1, starting off with... Uh, was it PBR? No, that was... Or oh, no, that, that was... PBR, the, PBR that was, was in um, that. Oh, shit. What was that? Damn it. Um... Uh, Brooklyn? Brooklyn Lager, maybe? Or was uh, something different? Or was it... No, it was, a, it, was an, it was an apple cider. Was it? Yeah, we started off with an apple cider and ended with that mango. Well, yeah, price. yeah, that. I was I was thinking when Matt was there. Never mind. Well, Matt was kind of in and out of it, though. I don't know. I don't care. Go back and watch it. Okay? Yeah, it's in Playlist Season 1. But, yeah, this season, we broke the record on how many episodes we've recorded in one night. You will see that in the course of a three-month period. He couldn't drive home that night. Yeah, but I just remember that I was laying in the bed, and you came in the room, and all I heard was Ashley saying, Oh my God, you're drunk. And I'm like, ha, 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 ha. I was not drunk. I was lightly inebriated. I was very impaired that night. You, you were drunk. I was just impaired. We couldn't even hold on to the bar hardly by the last episode. Yeah. But yeah, you'll, you'll just have to watch it all coming up season four. It's it's interesting. All right. Um, anything else we need to talk about? Well, not really. I really didn't want to bore you with other clips or anything, but just yeah. kind of like an overview of what's what we did and what's what we're gonna do and all this and that. Yeah, I mean, we'll throw a few extra clips here and there before we kick it before we end it all. So until then, whatever. Yep. Peace and chicken grease. Well, not fighting, but... They're... <laughs> oh, damn. <laughs> a little behind the scenes there. A lot of cinnamon in that. <laughs> uh, yingling glass. Yingle, yingling me. Yingling me. Whatever the hell that means. You got... Look at that, people. You not only... Oh, have... shit. A cat fight. <laughs> Okay, let's zoom in on that. Damn, cats. Ugh. Holy shit. Yeah. We're going to keep that in the video. <laughs> it's hissing. Oh, oh shit. No. Shit. No. No. No, 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 no. Let's just calm I didn't, yourself. I didn't do anything. I didn't do anything. Let's just calm yourself. Oh, fuck. Oh, shit. We just abused the beer. We, we didn't abuse nothing. We abused nothing. Lucky Buddha is not angry with us right now. He's not going to blow his top. He's like, He's you son of a bitch. You kidnapped me from West Virginia. You kept me in your fridge for two months, and now this. Buddhaism is all, right. all about... I think it's calmed down now. It's let's, all about, like, peace and love. You, on here. you know something? I just... I would have caught hell if I would have forgot about this. Oh, no. I got to give credit where credit's due. Mm -hmm. I got to thank Eric Pressler Music oh. for doing... The fucking intro. How could we have forgotten that, man? He just turned 21 this past weekend, so happy birthday, buddy, and thank you for the intro. 21, huh? Let's go! It's the Brew Review! 
you need to come here and let's He told go. me he wants to join us some week. You need to show up here, my friend, and let's go brew review. How's that? I, I'm sending out the shout out to you. I want you here to do a brew review. I don't care what it takes. We'll come get you. I don't care. I have plenty of space. You can sleep. I have a floor. I have a couch. Cribs. However you want to do it. Oh, he can fit into a crib. There you go. <laughs> he might have a crib by the time this airs, though. Or not by the time this airs, but <laughs> by the time he gets on the show. He'll be a father also. Congrats. Yep. It's fun. So, all right, yeah, I had to, like, not forget that shout-out. I'm yeah, sorry. That, I knew there was, was something I was forgetting. It's like when you take off on a road trip and you have that feeling. That you forgot somebody or something. Not that I forgot somebody, but... But, alright, well, that's all I got. Yep, yep, yep. Later, kids.